Hi friends, you can see our topic Foreign Exchange Rate System. What do you mean by the term Foreign Exchange Rate System? That is also very interesting topic. Foreign Exchange Rate System. Then what is it? Here you know, exchange rate is equal to rupees 72 is equal to dollar 1. Listen very carefully. Then what system will decide this exchange rate? 72 dollar Please make a connection. See, foreign exchange rate is the rate at which you can convert your currency into another currency. And a conversion, that process is known as currency convertibility. Currency convertibility, and with the currency, we can the block currency. Now, the hard currencies are like internationally accepted currencies. That is, you know, hard currencies in it. That currency allows both current account convertibility and capital account convertibility. See, foreign exchange rights system means. What system we are following in the determination of exchange rate? Foreign exchange rate is the system. See, broadly there are two systems. First one, you know, fixed exchange rate system. Okay. And second one is, you know, flexible exchange rate system. Okay. Foreign exchange rate system means, you know, a pattern or system we are following in determining your currency's value in terms of foreign currency. Okay. See, foreign exchange rate shows the value of home currency in terms of foreign currency. Dollar umai tattich no kumbol, rubayude mulim etra yen the ganikun foreign exchange rate. This is the same Rupees 30 is equal to 1 kg rice. 1 kg rice is equal to 1 kg rice. the value of the rice. This is the same as Rupees 72 is equal to 1 dollar. Rice is equal to 1 That is American dollar. Another currency. This American dollar is equal to 72 rupees. This is equal to 1 kg of rice. See, I will analyze the logic and No problem, no doubt. We can make a connection. See, currency convertibility. This process is foreign exchange rate. This foreign exchange right is a system of the foreign exchange right system. Broadly, there are two important systems that is in a fixed exchange right system and a flexible exchange right system. Okay. In a fixed exchange right system, I will give you an example. See, 1948. We have an Exchange rate between you know Indian rupee and American dollar, you know, it is around 3 point something. Okay. C equal to C equal to dollar one. Okay. Dollar one something. Then again, you know, 1974, it is around you know 7 to 8. C equal to dollar one. Then what is the meaning? Then what is the meaning? British are exploited in the country. poor category is the currency. The currency is this is the dollar. See, what is the difference? We follow the fixed exchange rate system. That is, 
the exchange rate is determined by the government or simply we can say the monetary authority of the country that is you know rbi okay കാരണം ആ കാലഘട്ടത്തിൽ കാരണം എന്താണ് ന്യൂ എക്കണോമിക് പോളിസി ഒക്കെ വരുന്നതിന് മുമ്പ് വി ഫോളോഡ് എൻ എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് റൈറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് യുനോ ഫിക്സഡ് എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് റൈറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം രാജ്യത്തിൻ്റെ ഗവൺമെൻറ്റോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സെൻട്രൽ ബാങ്കോ അനൗൺസ് ചെയ്യും ഒരു ഡോളറിൻ്റെ വില മൂന്ന് രൂപ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അഞ്ച് രൂപ രണ്ട് രൂപ അത് ഫിക്സ് ചെയ്താൽ ആ രാജ്യം പിന്നെ ട്രേഡ് ഇതൊക്കെ നടക്കുന്നത് എന്താണ് അതിലാണ് ദർ ഇസ് ഇൻ എ ഫിക്സഡ് ദർ ഇസ് നോ റോൾ ഓഫ് മാർക്കറ്റ് ഫോഴ്സസ് പ്ലീസ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് നോ റോൾ ടു മാർക്കറ്റ് ഫോഴ്സസ് ഡിമാൻഡ് ഫോർ ആൻഡ് സപ്ലൈ ഓഫ് ഫോറിൻ കറൻസീസിനൊന്നും ഒരു റോൾ ഇല്ല ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫിക്സഡ് ബൈ ദി ഗവൺമെൻറ് അതോറിറ്റി ഓർ യു നോ മോണിറ്ററി അതോറിറ്റി ഓഫ് ദ കൺട്രി ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഡൺ ബൈ ആർ ബി ഐ that is you know fixed exchange rate is a country's exchange rate regime under which the government or central bank ties the official exchange rate to another country's currency or the price of gold it is also called as pegged exchange rate okay please note that point as well pegged exchange rate pegged or fixed exchange rate see flexible exchange rate system that is you know another foreign exchange rate system that is in you know, a flexible exchange rate system here you know exchange rate is determined by market forces that is you know very very important here you know flexible exchange rate system in which we can see the exchange rate is determined not by the rbi or government or central bank it is actually by the market forces that is you know demand for foreign currency as well as supply of foreign currencies ivada manasilakkendathu flexible exchange rate flexible it is also known as floating exchange rate system floating exchange rate system or fluctuating exchange rate system fluctuating that is in a mari kondirikku edina base il fix seidu vekkalla it is in a fluctuating it is in a floating on the basis of market forces or free play of demand and supply of foreign currencies we can simply say a flexible or floating exchange rate or fluctuating exchange rate you know here we can see currency's value is allowed to fluctuate according to the foreign exchange market that is you know demand for and supply of foreign currencies a currency that uses a floating exchange rate is known as a floating currency it is a monetary system that allows the exchange rate to be determined by supply and demand that is the keyword see what about india's system നമ്മൾ ഫോളോ ചെയ്യുന്ന സിസ്റ്റം അതാണ് ഫിക്സഡ് എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് റേറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം ആയിരുന്നു പണ്ട് ഇപ്പോൾ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഫ്ലെക്സിബിൾ എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് റേറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം ആണ് അതുമല്ല സി ഇന്ത്യ ഫോളോ ചെയ്യുന്ന ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ഫ്ലെക്സിബിൾ എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് റേറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം യു നോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് സിംപ്ലി നോൺ ആസ് മാനേജ്ഡ് ഫ്ലോട്ട് എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് റേറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം ഓക്കെ മാനേജ്ഡ് ഫ്ലോട്ട് എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് റേറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് യു നോ ഇന്ത്യ ഈസ് ഫോളോയിങ് സിൻസ് നയൻറ്റീൻ നയൻറ്റി ത്രീ ഇസ് വെരി വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ആയിരത്തി തൊള്ളായിരത്തി തൊണ്ണൂറ്റി മൂന്ന് മുതൽ ഇന്ത്യ ഫോളോ ചെയ്യുന്ന എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് റേറ്റ് ഏതാണ് മാനേജ്ഡ് ഫ്ലോട്ട് എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് റേറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം ഹിയർ യുനോ ഫ്ലോട്ട് മീൻസ് യുനോ ഫ്ലെക്സിബിൾ അല്ലെ പൊങ്ങിക്കെടുക്കുന്ന ദർ ഇസ് ഇനോ ഒഴുകി നടക്കുന്ന അതിന് ഫിക്സ് ചെയ്യാനോ കൺട്രോൾ ചെയ്യാനോ ഒന്നും ആരുമില്ല ബട്ട് ഹിയർ യുനോ മാനേജ്ഡ് ഫ്ലോട്ട് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് യുനോ ദ ഗവൺമെൻറ് ഓർ മോണിറ്ററി അതോറിറ്റി ലൈക്ക് ആർ ബി ഐ വിൽ ഇൻ്റർവീൻ ഇൻ ദി ഫോറിൻ എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് മാർക്കറ്റ് ഇൻ എക്സ്ട്രീം സർക്കം സ്റ്റാൻസസ് ഹിയർ ഇ നോ നമ്മുടെ കറൻസിയുടെ വാല്യൂ തീരുമാനിക്കുന്നത് മാർക്കറ്റ് ഫോഴ്സസ് ആണ് ബട്ട് നമ്മുടെ എക്കോണമിയെ എക്സ്ട്രീമായിട്ട് ബാധിക്കുന്ന വൊളാറ്റിലിറ്റീസ് ഫോറിൻ എക്സ്ചേഞ്ച് റേറ്റിൽ ഉണ്ടായാൽ മാക്രോ എക്കണോമിക് ഫണ്ടമെൻ്റൽസിനെ ബാധിച്ചാൽ ദ ഗവൺമെൻറ് ഓർ ആർ ബി ഐ വിൽ ഇൻ്റർവീൻ ആൻഡ് manage the exchange right you know they will try to stabilize the foreign exchange right okay please understand 
India is following managed float exchange rate system, especially since 1993. Okay, the 100% flexible exchange rate system is the exchange rate of market forces. But extreme cases, high volatilities, fluctuations, RBI is a foreign exchange market, and the foreign exchange rate is stable. That is why it is known as managed. Okay, little bit managed. But it is also float or flexible exchange rate system. This is about our topic, foreign exchange rate. Okay, then there is a summary. See, this topic is very, very important. I have a previous year question paper. I have a lot of questions. For example, you know, a simple question. Foreign exchange rate to my bandapattu matra to. A question like this, you know, the price at which two currencies exchange is called option a devaluation option b exchange rate option c depreciation option d revaluation what is the right answer option b exchange rate okay now we can wind up the session please understand the meaning of foreign exchange right see we have started with this simple example but we will go to the next level okay see we have started with this simple example exchange right between rupee and american dollar is equal to rupee 72 is equal to dollar one that means you know we need rupee 72 to purchase one unit of dollar but lr ajangal exchange rate of dollar that is you know dollar is regarded as the international vehicle currency netum kurudil ubayogikkunna currency edana etum kurudil demand ulla currency edana dollar aanu that is why you know it is known as hard currency okay indian currency ku vilikkunna peru aanu soft currency then related to this topic you know we have discussed you know foreign exchange market is the place where you know trading of currencies that is you know buying and selling of foreign currencies now you know foreign exchange reserve this is also very very important foreign exchange reserves you know that include three components foreign currencies that is you know generally acceptable foreign currencies that is currency foreign currency as such that is hard currencies gold stock managed by rbi and third one, you know, SDR special drawing rights that is managed by IMF. Okay. It's the same concept in our discuss here. Foreign exchange rate, foreign exchange market, foreign exchange reserves. Okay. Then we have also discussed, you know, currency convertibility, current account convertibility, capital account convertibility, capital account convertibility, Pradhana Patari Committee and yes, Tarapur Committee. One day, the currency is the currency is convert to the currency. The government restrictions are the same as blocked currency. Okay. Now, foreign exchange rate is the same as the system. That is the foreign exchange rate system. There are lots of foreign exchange rate system that, you know, broadly classified into two. Fixed exchange rate system in which, you know, exchange rate is determined by the authority or official segment like you know monetary unit like rbi monetary segment of the country okay now second one is you know flexible exchange rate system here you know the exchange rate is determined by the market forces like demand and supply of foreign currencies okay last you know managed float exchange rate system that is actually india is following managed float exchange rate system since 1993 okay Okay friends, you know, this is our topic and in the coming video, I would like to explain, you know, very important area, you know, foreign exchange rate variations in which we need to discuss, you know, four important concepts that is, you know, devaluation, depreciation and revaluation and appreciation. Please note, both devaluation and revaluation that come under fixed exchange rate system and very interestingly, appreciation and depreciation that come under flexible exchange rate system why you can just think okay in the coming video we will discuss all these points in a very systematic way okay thank you so much have a nice day